This is James Holden for iFilm London. I'm in Repton Boxing Club today for the fashion shoot of Danelli Style. With me, I've got trainer and now fashion guru, Mr. Mark Tibbs. What's happening, Mark? Lovely, James. Everything's well, mate. Thank you. What an outfit. Very debonair. Can we just get again get a look at Mark's shoes with his trousers? Do you know what? It's like a country gentleman. Very nice, but I've got to show you the secret. Look. Ah, oh, Mark, we were not meant to tell him that bit. A couple of sizes too big, but the, jack the jacket's perfect. Yeah. What, what do you reckon of Danelli? Is this something you would wear? Do you know what? I think this is a this is a lovely smart lovely smart jacket. Yeah, of course I'd wear it. Of course I'd wear it. Yeah, the shirt and that. Yeah, cufflinks. Very nice. Of course. Really, I would. When I see you, I see you in a tracksuit. I didn't know you scrubbed up quite as well, Mark. To be fair. Well, do you know what? I like to wear a suit. In fact, I do like to wear a suit when I get the uh, get the chance. But as you say, because I'm always in tracksuits. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. How come we ain't got Jimmy here today? I was expecting to see him here dressed up in a suit. Not quite his thing. Do you know what? Um, He's busy with Billy Joe, getting him ready for the 20th. And, um, and uh, yeah, basically he's a bit busy. And uh, I'm, not sure if he'd, uh, I'm not sure if he'd take, take to, this, to this, this sort of... He's old school, isn't he, Jim? I don't think it's going to be a bit of him. He'd walk in here, take right over, and uh, he'd, throw all the, uh, he'd throw all the cameramen, all the uh, makeup artists. He'd tell, them their, he'd, tell them, he'd tell them what to do. He'd tell them what to do, how to do their job. He'd be running the whole show, wouldn't he? He'd run it, he'd run it. <laughs> Listen, let's talk a little bit about uh, Billy Joe Saunders. Obviously, Gary O'Sullivan coming up. Tough fight for Bill. I know he's undefeated. Straight on the back of that, we've got John Ryder coming up. Probably Bill's toughest fight to date. How's he going? How's training going? You know, as I say, uh, training's going uh, always as, as planned. You know, always as planned. Uh, we're all on schedule. Um, in a good place. Yeah, everyone's in a good place. Uh, it's a big fight for, for Billy Joe, yes. Uh, Gary O'Sullivan ain't no uh, walkover. And... Um, but, you know, Billy Joe knows what he's got to do and uh, to look forward to the John Ryder fight. Billy Joe told me he would, would not vacate that British belt. It, it means a world to him. Can you just reiterate again, is it, tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, well, uh, he, you know what he is, he's, uh, he's got his old-fashioned values and uh, he, he, he adores the, uh, being British champion, Commonwealth champion, and, and, and he won't give that up, never. He won't give it up. And uh, like he says, he, he's got to fight him for it and uh, he means it. He means it. It's nice to see a boxer have that kind of love for that belt. I know a lot of the boxers say it's their, it's their favourite belt, but with Billy, I actually believe it. He, he loves that belt, doesn't he? Yeah, very much so. He's a, he loves competition. He likes uh, challenges, loves challenges, welcomes any challenge. And um, this is, this is uh, you know, this will propel him onto bigger things, for sure, and he knows that. Without looking too far ahead, how good do you think Billy Joe Saunders can be? Well, you know... He's got everything. He's got everything. He's uh, he's got a talent which only uh, is God's gift. You know, he's, he's gifted. He's, he's gifted uh, ability. He's unbelievable, and needs uh, along the way, just like what Frank uh, Frank Warren's doing for him, is the you know the right fights at the right time, the right coaching, the right strength training, everything. You know what I mean? It's got to be. It's all got to be in place. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk to one of your prospects, Mr. Frank Bullioni. He's coming on leaps. I see on all the forums people ranting how good Frank can be, and yeah. the fact that he can do a thousand tickets on his own is, is never a bad thing, is it? Yeah, yeah. No, he's uh, he's coming on nice. In fact, you know, every every uh, every every fight we have, uh, Frank has. He's uh, we always work on uh, stuff which we weren't happy with in the fight. So so we're nipping nipping him along as he goes. But I think you're going to see a, a very different uh, Frank Bullioni on the 20th of uh, July at Wembley. For the simple fact is. Um, he's been uh, offered a, a Southern Era title fight uh, on the, uh, d d d d d d in September. Frank Which Warren has confirmed that then, yeah? Frank Warren's confirmed that. Uh, all being well, he does well on the 20th of July. He'll be at the Copper Box in September, along with uh, Billy Joe on the, on the, rider, the rider show. John, you know, Billy Joe and John Ryder, yeah. Absolutely massive incentive for Frank. He's working very hard, so it must be great for him to get in these opportunities. Of course it is, and you know what? And... Uh, as the time's going on and these uh, these opportunities are coming, he, he's grabbing them with both hands, but he still he sticks to the nitty gritty. He works hard. He works very hard. He's like a he's like a model a model pro, if you know what I'm saying by that. Looks like a model as well, by the way. No, uh, excuse the pun. He's like a model pro. He uh, he lives right. He, he sleeps right. He, he trains right, and he eats right. You know. And so if he gets all them in in perfect balance, like he has done, and like we have done, you know, magic will happen. And um, 
he's, you know, the old, everyone's doing their bit to, to make him win titles. Tom Baker, I've said this before, like, probably one of the most impressive jabs I've seen in boxing. Jab is phenomenal. Jab's phenomenal and, you know, every, every good fighter being, whether, whether they're a, a pressure fighter or, or a, a nice boxer, you know, we all need the jab, it's a key, key to the door. But he's got other shots to him. He's got other shots to his... He's developing two. now. He's growing. His, people forget he's just 21 years old. He's going to grow into his body and find his own strength in, in his own time, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's fighting... Um, who's he fighting now? John Dignam, which would be a nice little, nice little fight for him. It'll be his toughest test of yet, I would say. Yeah, very much so. It'd be, it'd be his toughest fight. And um, I've noticed a difference now with Tom Baker. Now he's got this little challenge in front of him, a, a bit of a name. Uh, I don't mean to be rude. A name, you know, at this stage of his career. And, um, and he's rose to the occasion, and he's, and he's doing, he always does what, what's asked of him, but I've noticed, I've noticed another side of Tom Baker, which I'm, I'm very much pleased with, you know. I need to see these things. That spiteful side in him's coming out a bit more. He seems to be such a nice guy, doesn't he, Tom? But in the end, he's, he's doing the job, isn't he? He's doing the job, listen, he's doing, he's doing everything right in sparring, in training, in a, a very hard worker, very hard worker, and... He's living the life outside when he leaves me alone. Oh, you know, when we've left the gym, when we've left the field, he's, uh, he's doing his bit indoors, as in fueling his body right. I know, because I know how he performs. Do you know what I mean? So as so long as he does that, he's another one. He'll come along. Uh, he'll be brought along slowly, but surely. Tom's brothers, they was all great amateur boxers. Tom's the only one that's gone on to, to make the pros, to make the pro thing and carry on with the boxing. Do you think that's that initiative and seeing how the others went wrong has kind of helped him a little? Um, well, yeah, it should do. I mean, you know, as as myself as a, as a trainer now, you know what I what I tell and what I encourage the boys to do things I didn't do myself. You know, you know that's how it works. You know what I mean? So he ain't no fool. You know, he's a very smart guy, quiet guy, but a very smart guy. So he knows, he, he, he's, a smart, he's a smart smart young man. He knows, he knows what's going on around him, and he knows if he's cheating, if he ain't cheating, he knows what's right for him, basically. He knows what's right for him. We were in Repton Boxing Club today for the fashion shoot for Dan Ellie. While I'm here killing a little bit of time, I had a little look around. I, I found some old pictures of you, Mark, on the wall. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm going to have a little look around myself now because, you know, it changes very slightly. As I say, it changes very slightly. It don't look like it changes, but, you know, the photos... Subtly. Subtly, yeah. So I will have a look around myself before I go, yeah. yeah. Listen, Mark, I think you look very debonair. And Thanks, James. Hopefully uh, you get to keep the clothes. If not, we'll have words with a, with a man. That's what we have. Jacket, the jacket, the jacket I keep, not the trousers, are a little bit too big for me. A little bit too big, <laughs> probably fit me or Coogan. <laughs> Coogs, I think. Now, mind you, Coogan's done a bit of weight, hasn't he? He is like Slim Jim at the minute. He looks well. He must look. He does look well, I must say. Do style. Yeah. yeah. This is James Holder with Mark Gibbs in Repton Boxing Club for the Dan Dan Loth, uh, fashion show. Thanks Thank so you much. very much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I'm not going to